Hey, Pamela. Happy Lunar New Year. Happy Lunar New Year, Ryan. I think it's time to get into some headlines. Let's do it. I'm Pamela Kirkland. And I'm Ryan Willard. It's Tuesday, January 24th. This is the 10 News. Here are 10 things you need to know. First up, many folks are celebrating today because January 24th is the third day of Lunar New Year. It's a public holiday in many Asian nations and is a day to honor relatives who have died. Many people visit graves and leave offerings for those who have passed. Each year is represented by one of 12 different animals, and this year is the year of the rabbit. But in some sad news surrounding the holiday, on Sunday, a man opened fire on a dance studio in Monterey Park, a city in Southern California, killing at least 10 people and injuring 10 others. Monterey Park is home to 60,000 people who mostly identify as Asian American. Thousands of residents were attending a Lunar New Year festival when the 72-year-old gunman opened fire. He later fled to the nearby city of Alhambra, where an onlooker was able to disarm him. He then took his own life. Law enforcement are investigating but have not announced a motive for the attack. But if you're looking for more resources for how to talk about and understand these events, we've included a link in our show notes to our special episode on gun violence where we spoke with gun sense activist Shannon Watts. Check it out. Now on to news from around the world. This has been the most fulfilling five and a half years of my life, but it has also had its challenges. Global icon and Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern, has announced she will resign. She cited burnout as a reason that she's stepping down. Ardern has been criticized and praised for her empathy as the country's leader, as well as her tough stance on COVID restrictions. She's one of only two world leaders to give birth while in office. Wow! And everyone's favorite climate activist, Greta Thunberg, was arrested at a coal protest in Germany. Climate activists gathered to stop the expansion of a coal mine, which will result in the destruction of the German town of Lutzenroth. The town's residents have already moved away, and the mining company plans to extract lignite coal, one of the most damaging types of fuel. Three officers carried Greta Thunberg away from the protest while she smiled. In other protest news, millions are striking and protesting in France over changes to their retirement plans. President Emmanuel Macron wants to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64, and workers are not happy about it. Teachers, railway workers, and union members gathered in the streets to strike, schools closed, and train service was disrupted around the country. Workers chanted, Retirement before arthritis! <laughs> Next up, we've got animal news. Ten crocodile mummies were found in Egypt. The discovery of mummified crocodiles under an ancient garbage heap have helped scientists better understand the mummification process. And a never-before-seen penguin colony was discovered from space. How do you spot a penguin colony from space? Poop! Yes, the penguin's guano, a.k.a. poop, stained the ice in Antarctica enough to show up in satellite images. That's how scientists found the new colony of emperor penguins. From the business world, the co-founder of Netflix, Reed Hastings, is stepping down as boss. The CEO helped Netflix survive for more than 25 years. When Netflix first started in 1997, subscribers got DVDs in the mail. In 2022, Netflix subscriber numbers increased despite worries that people would leave the streaming service. Hastings hands the reins over to co-CEO Greg Peters. The world's oldest person, Sister Andre, has died. The French nun was 118 and lived through World War I and II, as well as the 1918 influenza epidemic. She also survived COVID last year. She spent her life working in hospitals and enjoyed a little bit of chocolate every day. She is the fourth oldest person who ever lived. That's incredible! And it turns out ketchup could save your life. A sailor who was adrift in the Caribbean Sea for 24 days reportedly survived on ketchup, garlic powder, and seasoning cubes. He was repairing a boat and was saved when he signaled a plane with a mirror. Uh, help? That was the 10 things you need to know right now. 
Check out tomorrow's episode, our Lego Day special. I'm Pamela Kirkland. And I'm Ryan Willard. Thanks for listening to the 10 News. Data transfer complete.